And meanwhile, turning our attention back here in Portland for the NCAA tournament, if Gonzaga and Boise State both win their matchups on Thursday, that would set up a Mark Few and Leon Rice matchup, which would be Few's first time facing a former assistant in the NCAA tournament. But let's not get too ahead of ourselves yeah, yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's It's been an incredible year for Gonz former Gonzaga assistants as a whole, as also Tommy Lloyd in the NCAA tournament as well. Yeah, and it actually goes beyond that as Dan Munson, the head coach of Gonzaga in 1999, where this all pretty much started, that big run. his Long Beach State team was just one point away from also making the big dance. All four of those head coaches won, or I guess I should include Mark Few in that, so all four of those head coaches won their conference, their regular season conference championship this year, and they were all in Vegas last week, so I caught up with all of them about the success that they're having. We follow each other really close. Uh, you know, Gonzaga's is expected, but the rest of us mere mortals along the way grinded it out this year, and it was really a fun year for all of us. Brothers, that's how Dan Munson described the coaching tree that has sprouted out of Gonzaga. They all met at Dan's dad's basketball camp at the University of Oregon as counselors in their 20s. You know, it's guys that you can count on, and, uh, you know, to have those kind of guys in your life for not five, not 10, not 20 years, but 34, 35 years. We've, we've all been really, really tight. And uh, so that, that's pretty special. We know how lucky we are to have each other in this, in this business. I'm the, like the little brother in the group. You know, I was with those guys for all of them for a long time. And, you know, they're all kind of similar age, you know, and I was here, you know, 15 years younger or so. So um, yeah, they've been, they've been great mentors to me. And, and, and more than that, I mean, our families are all, you know, really close, and you're talking vacations and birthdays and weddings, whatever, ever. I mean, we, we do all that stuff together. The little brother of the group was the one who sent out the text last Tuesday night in Las Vegas to see if the four of them could meet up. In the midst of the craziness of March, the quartet found a way. It was a, a good hour where we could just put our teams away. And, uh, you know, the first the first thing Tommy said to me when he hugged me, he says, who, who are you guys playing? I go, we're not starting there. <laughs> I said, I said, I don't we're not, I don't care who you play or who I care. Let's enjoy what we've done. And then we'll and then <laughs> half hour from now, we'll talk about what we got this week. <laughs> it was just great to connect and, you know, talk about what we all have been through to this point. Just have some laughs and and get to see each other. So it was really a really special night. Mark Few did arrive a bit late to that meeting due to a complimentary bath his team gave him after winning the WCC championship. And his brothers do. They couldn't help but get a joke off at his expense. We had to give Mark a little grief when he came because he was the only one who didn't get coach of the year out of the four of us. Um, because he, you know, we said, you know, should we let you even sit here? <laughs> now that's a Dan Munson right there, no doubt. I did a spit take when Dan said that. So funny uh, getting to talk to both of them in Vegas, especially Leon and Dan. They just had so many stories to tell. It was so much fun. I did talk to Mark about potentially playing Leon as I decide I want to look like the Lion King here in Portland. <laughs> um, uh, and he said, you know, it'd be tough because he always roots for his guys this time of year, but that's just the breaks and, and you got to win or go home. Just how it goes. Mm -hmm. Hey, speaking of, we're going to have more exclusive content just like that right here on Crim 2 as we're going to be here in Portland all week. Yep. So make sure you stick around with us here on Crim 2. From now in Portland, I'm Travis Green. She's Brenna Green, Crim 2 Sports.